everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today we're going to take a look at just a gorgeous 1971 Dodge Challenger convertible, guys. Beautiful car. Just bought this we uh, bought this car this weekend uh, from just a wonderful couple. Um, Derek, the gentleman who built it, um, he's been actually he, uh, he's, he's been in multiple magazines. He actually normally restores Corvettes. Uh, just wonderful people, man. He did a complete nut and bolt rotisserie restoration on this car. I love the color combo. It's green go with a white vinyl interior, and then it's got the uh, white uh, Mopar top on it. Great car. Shaker hood. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that it, when it comes to e-bodies, I love 71 Challengers. And this is just a show car, guys. Beautiful car. Um, he actually just got it done. There's very few miles on this car. And unfortunately, this car, I guess, had, uh, was owned by a, a good friend of his uh, who had passed away. And uh, Derek took this car and restored it, um, made it as beautiful as it is. And I can totally understand with him. He said he just couldn't drive the car, man. He just... It just you know too many too many memories of his friend um but i'll tell you he did a beautiful job really ought to be proud of what he did just a gorgeous gorgeous car again that's a real shaker hood guys um 340 car and again a nut and bolt rotisserie restoration uh, uh spoke with him he is supposed to send me some photos of the resto um, he really didn't have any receipts, guys. He said he just didn't keep the stuff. I don't think he built this to sell it. I think he built it to keep it. And just, like you say, some bad memories with the car. But, uh, but great car, man. He really did a nice job. You see all new chrome and stainless. Let's show what we got. A little something on there. How the boys get that off? It's got the chin spoilers on it. Beautiful gold green, man. I love the color combination. Of course, that shaker hood, the hood's just super cool. Uh, what do you say he paid for the hood, Jay? They paid a thousand dollars. So he's got a total of about four thousand dollars in the hood. Uh, just the hood and the shaker setup for it. All brand new wiring harness. I mean, he really did the car nice. Of course, I love the white interior. We did order a boot. Uh, John over at Roseville Chrysler's got us a boot on the way. Um, you can see the go wing about the only thing you could really nitpick you can see a little bit of a crack here in the paint but and again you guys have if you've been watching these videos you know I'll tell you that there's not a one that's ever perfect but I love this car man just a pretty pretty car the guy just did a great job on it again we got a boot coming and uh, the tack wasn't working so We'll check it, but it's got all new wiring in it, so I gotta believe it's something that we can fix. Laser straight down the sides, brand new BF uh, Goodrich radial TAs all the way around it with 15 inch rallies. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. And I'll tell you, you flip it over, guys, put mirrors underneath it. I mean, it is body color and it is beautiful underneath. new rallies I love the side scoops on these 71s I love the white stripes he did on the side does have uh, front disc brakes uh, this is a 69 340 uh, cubic inch engine so uh, he dynoed it 343 horse uh, it's got a quick fuel, uh, a double pumper, four barrel on it. Uh, I've got some information they gave me. I'll make sure that gets posted on the site. Power steering, again, power disc brakes. Uh, it's got stock exa exhaust manifolds. No fender tag, guys. Beautiful, beautiful car, man. I mean, everywhere you look, this car is detailed out really nice. electronic ignition um, he gave me all the cam specs and stuff like that 
just late in the day and we're trying to get this car advertised. 727 Torque Flight Trans does have a B&M shift kit, uh, 2600 stall converter. Look at that car in there, man. Brand stinking new. Like I say, man, I just these were great people. And I think you know you've made a connection with people when you're buying a car and you've been talking to them for 15, 20 minutes and you know you get you, you put a deal together and by the time it's all said and done, heck he gave us a hug, man. He's just a just a good guy, man, just good people. Get over that and put that top up so they can see the top. It's a manual top. All new legendary interior. Car's got all new glass. Bucket seats, council. It's got the rally dash. Again, I've ordered a boot for it, guys. 35820. You know, it's it just got it's just got a couple hundred miles uh, is what he said on the car since he got it done. Uh, AM FM radio, uh, even the the, the cold air uh, uh, works. The what do you call it? The uh, for the uh, air grabber. Sorry, glass rear window. See, it's all brand new and it's a correct Mopar top. It's got the go wing on it. Um, all brand new, dual exhaust. It's got an eight and three quarter with a 355 Auburn Posse unit in it. He put new quarters on it. Um, I can't remember what all the, he gave me a list of everything that he kind of replaced on. I think it's got a new trunk pan in it. Um, he, uh, it's got the go wing on it and he didn't put the springs in it so it's got a prop prop for the trunk. Because if you, have you ever put one of these on there, they're very heavy, you gotta have a different spring for them. It's all body color in the trunk. Factory jack with spare. And look at this thing underneath, man. God, I love this car, man. I'm not a big E-body guy, I'll tell you. I'm more of a B-body person, but man, I drive this car any day, any day. He really poured his heart and soul in this car, guys, too. Just talking to him, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a nitpicker on cars. I don't like to do that to people. And, uh, I mean, when we're just talking. I mean, he, he dumped a bunch, a bunch of money, a bunch of time, and a bunch of effort into building this car. I think he owns a shop where he actually does a lot of restorations on Corvettes. Is that what it was? You know, did some Corvette restorations, right? We were talking about that. The, the, Derek owned a shop that did some Corvette restoration, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big, big yep. Yep. I and mean, I think he's been. I think he's been featured in a couple of different magazines. Good guy, man. Really good people. This is a little cam. Again, I've got all that information. I'll get it put in the ad. Have you pin that hood yet? Again, the tack, for some reason, now everything else is working, but that tack wasn't, is, isn't working, but we'll check it. It's all brand new. Radios work, radio works. Um, again, just sounds good. This car's got a great look to it, man. Good running 340. Like I say, he just he dynoed it too. I'm, 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 I try to stay stay up with him and the radio works. Blower motor. Yes. Yep. Blower motor works, guys. Try to make sure you get to some of those pictures. He told me he had pictures uh, with 
what he was doing to Kyle. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com, or you're always welcome. Pick up the phone, give us a call, 248-620-3355. Man, is that a pretty son of a gun right there. Have a great day, guys.